Come a me, ciao ragazzi, bentornati o benvenuti sul mio canale, io sono Mont e siamo per questo quattordicesimo episodio dedicato alla carriera di Pippo Spustad, come dicono a Venezia o meglio conosciuto come Psycho Pippo. Se vi foste persi gli episodi precedenti vi ricordo che li potete trovare nella playlist dedicata e ormai che ci sono ragazzi prima di iniziare vi invito a lasciare un like, un sacco di like, un sacco di like qui sotto manco fosse la foto di una bella gnagna su Instagram per supportare la serie. Se non l'aveste ancora fatto beh arrivate fino alla fine del video vi divertirete, valutate di iscrivervi al canale e lanciate il vostro commercialista sulla campanellina degli avvisi per rimanere sempre aggiornati. Sarà che ho fatto la dichiarazione dei redditi allora mi viene a dire questo? Detto questo ragazzi, bando alle ciance, ciancio alle bande, abbiamo MVP qui a fianco pronto a parlare con noi o PVM o MVMP eh, o insomma quello a fianco, l'avete visto? È qui. You've got some guts showing up here. Not really. See evolution in the hurt business don't have an issue. Until now. What it comes down to is you chose the wrong company in more ways than one. And now that decision is going to cost you your intercontinental championship. No, addirittura. And how is that going to happen? One word. Omas. You don't stand a chance against him. I'm not scared of Omas. Name the time and place and I'll be there. <clears throat> Hold up. There's no need to rush things. Let's get to know each other a little better. Do our due diligence. What I'm thinking is, first you have a non-title match against Carmelo Hayes. Sound good? Perché no? Sure. Doesn't matter to me. Because it's all going to end the same. Me walking away intercontinental champion. Mm. Okay, Lock. <laughs> we'll see. Chiama Pippo, non the Lock. Comunque se questo è un homos con 12 punti potenziamento massimi... Beh, è un bello monos, mono, è un omones, insomma è grosso. Oh, Salvatore la viperina, ci vorranno fare gli auguri. <ride> ok, Gabe, you know the deal. I want you out there for this match to make sure the hurt business doesn't get involved. Got it. Wait, do you really think that's necessary? I can handle myself fine. And what's the worst that can happen anyway? A DQ and I get some shots in on MVP and Omas? Or they get some shots in on you and weaken you before your title match against Omas. Come on, use your head. Gabe, you're going out there with him for that match. I don't want to hear another word. Come on, let's go. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by MVP from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes! I hate to parrot a catchphrase, but... Ma non li hai pagati gli occhiali. <laughs> and his opponent, accompanied by Gabriel Slade from South Tyrol, Italy. Weighing in at 331 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Psycho. Uh. Ciao Caimelo Ok, quindi possiamo sconfiggerlo Ottiene una vittoria, molto bene E dov'è la novità? Tipo, dobbiamo vincere, insomma Dovresti saperlo fare Pazza Caimelo Faccia divertì A bello faccio ride Oh, bravo! Facciamo divertire Pippo. Oh, 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 signori! <ride> che simpatica canaglia. Vabbè, Pippo, fallo scaldare, fallo scaldare. Ancora. Sempre vicino alla corda. Furbo, bravo, bravo, mi piace. Addirittura. Anzi, quando uno parte carico pensando di potercela fare è comunque una buona partenza però meglio così Pippo oh 
ora cerca di stare tranquillo caro capisco l'eccitazione di combattere contro una leggenda come Pippo però insomma anche meno no? dai torna sul ring è stato simpaticissimo e ora che le buschi però addirittura sono molto molto positivamente sorpreso anche i tuoi compari sono così affiatati, così carichi allora oggi potrebbe essere un bellissimo episodio non che gli altri siano da meno eh ragazzi se fosse il vostro primo episodio beh recuperatevi gli altri perché c'è da divertirsi bravo oh. Oh, 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 oh. fatto male quando ti sei scontrato col petto di Pippo che strane mosse interessante uh, 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 uh. ma che bello Oh, le cose si fanno più difficilotte nella carriera, bene. Ippo? Ippo? Eh vabbè. Sei arrivato tardi, Pippo. Non te ne faccio una colpa. Bravo, Pippo. Torna sul ring di nuovo. E giù Ok Pippo Mi piace ma inizia a diventare quasi pericoloso Sono davvero contento quando accadono queste cose <ride> Addirittura due È fantastico Caimelo mi stai emozionando tu a me <ride> oddio anche Pippo si è emozionato Pippo? cosa facciamo? continuiamo a farci insultare così? Ah. Che ne dici Pippo se come al solito ci facciamo rispettare magari eh? Oh, oppale! Proviamo a chiuderla va? Mm. Mi piace, quando Pippo è contento io sono contento. <ride> Bentornato Pippo. <ride> Ma non c'è più nessuno sul ring. Ma che bellissimo inizio, speriamo che tutti gli incontri siano così, così Pippo oggi si diverte proprio. <ride> Orsù, Viperina, è ora di fare i complimenti a Pippo, no? All right, let's get this out of the way. I know you didn't want Gabe out there for your last match, but this is too big to risk anything. So I'm going to be in your corner to make sure You hold on to your title. Allora, posso vincere senza il tuo aiuto? Apprezzo il sostegno, ma... I appreciate the support, but I'm confident I can win this on my own. Besides, you said I was the next version of you. Let me live up to that for once. Mm. Our goal in Evolution is to hold championships, and we do that by any means necessary. So I'm not saying you need me to win, but I'm going to be out there to make sure it happens. You know Hurt Business will be doing the same thing. We'd be stupid not to. Look, I realize they have numbers just like us, but I know I can handle myself. So I'm asking both of you to just stay in the back. No one's going to think any less of you if you have someone in your corner. Gabe's right. This isn't the time to prove a point. So why are we even having this conversation? Gabe would say whatever you wanted him to, but I'm not like that. Yes, we're part of a team, but I'm a future world champion. The Phenom, right? 
So I need to prove to you and myself that I can do this. That evolution isn't some kind of crutch propping me up. You said I could trust you when I joined evolution, and now you need to trust me on this. Message received. You clearly know what's best for you. Good luck. 400 pounds, the true colossus of WWE. Oh. The following is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian Giant Omas. No, non sono affatto preoccupato. Alla fine è solo un piccolo uomo. <laughs> Ok, oh. Oh, 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 addirittura. Ma che carino questo GGG. Oddio, non so se sia gentile. E se ti chiamerò il GGF, grande, gigante, fastidioso. Wow. Aia. Ma basta! Stai un po' esagerando, caro. Ok, Pippo. No, Pippo, perché mi hai caricato quella? Mannaggia. Non temere, Pippo. Ok Pippo vai Ah oh, sì, si butta giù un gigante Vai Pippo Così oh, Pippo Fagli vedere che non abbiamo paura Ok E giù Cosa pensi di fare? Eh? Anche Pippo è un gigante, lo sapevi? Cosa c'è? Lascialo perdere quello là! Lascialo perdere Pippo! Pippo! Oh sì Pippo! Pregatene di quello che ha da dire! E eh, vieni qui, fermo così. Ok, oddio. Ramp oddio, cosa deve succedere? Vabbè. Fermo un attimo che devo fare una cosa. Si cortese. Mi dispiace Pippo ma per una volta ero d'accordo con la viperina Ti dovevi fare aiutare Quelli sono dei maledetti Quelli sono, sono degli infimi Dei... Where's Orton and Slate? They were just heading back towards your locker room Hey, what the hell was that all about? Where were you? 
You told us to stay in the back. Remember? Yeah, I said stay in the back for the match. But then, in case you missed it, the Hurt Business attacked me. I could have used some backup there. Can we get some privacy? No, I want everyone to see this. What's your deal? Were you trying to send me some kind of message? Actually, we were on our way out to help you, but I got overruled. By who? Me. What? I've heard people say I'm a follower. That I lack killer instinct. That it's held me back my entire WWE career. Well, I'm done with all that. I made the call to stay in the back. I trusted you. We were teammates even before all this evolution stuff. Teammates? You've never cared about me or anyone else. Every decision you've made has been to benefit you and your career only. Getting me involved in that stupidity with the New Day was a wake-up call. And then your stubbornness against the Hurt Business only cemented who you are. It cost you your title. But that hurts all of us. So explain why we should go out of our way to help you. Hmm. This is ridiculous. Just like always, you're just saying all this because you know it's what Randy wants to hear. No, I'm saying it because it's the truth. I tried to let you do things on your own, and you failed. Repeatedly. What's next? You're gonna bring down our whole group with you? So maybe I was wrong from the start. Maybe Gabe is the future world champion in evolution. Let's face it. You're not the lock. You're the weak link. I don't need you or evolution. I never did. I'm better off on my own. I quit. Good. Clear your stuff out. I don't want to see you again. Ma che succede? Colpo di scema, signori. Ma che cos'è? Allora, Pippo, ho deciso di lasciare ufficialmente Evolution. I miei compagni non mi sono mai stati di alcun supporto, anzi, erano un peso. Quindi stasera non è stata una battuta d'arresto, ma un nuovo inizio. Ora punto alla vetta, da solo. E MVP, accidenti, la serata va di bene in meglio per gli art business. Ma cosa sta succedendo, Pippo? Quindi Pippo è passato dall'evolution alla revolution. Anche lo zio Sean prova a dissuadere Pippo dicendo dobbiamo parlare, non era questo il piano. Sono sicuro che non è troppo tardi per sistemare le cose con Randy e Gabriel. E Pippo è finito, ha provato a fare quello che volevate e non ha funzionato. Sono certo che ci sentiremo presto. So, since we last caught up, you got into a fight with New Day over a video game cover, lost your intercontinental championship and then quit evolution. Stirring of bad luck or all part of the plan? Fa tutto parte del piano. <laughs> all part of the plan. You might be hearing Orton and Gabriel's spin about how I was the weak link, but really, they were the dead weight, which is why I got rid of them. I realized I didn't need to be a part of some retread faction to get ahead. I'm bigger than that. I can win the WWE Championship on my own, and that's what I plan on doing. Well, I certainly believe in you, but what's next? I know I'll become WWE Champion, but something has been off since I debuted. And it's been holding me back way more than Evolution ever did. So what's next? I'm going to confront this issue head on in front of the entire WWE universe. Former Intercontinental Champion, The Lock, has requested this time to address the WWE universe. Now he certainly has a lot to address. Let's be real. I haven't had the best run lately. Most notably, I lost a couple things. My Intercontinental Championship, and then my faction. But this wasn't how things were supposed to go, right? You all heard and saw the endless hype. I was brought in to WWE as the next big thing, a future world champion. And of course, the lock. It worked for a while, but let's be honest, it felt forced from day one. I never was truly comfortable with what I was asked to do. And when it comes down to it, these recent setbacks were just 
a result of those early decisions that were out of my hands and way above my pay grade. What I'm saying is, I was set up to fail by WWE management, and especially VP of Talent Development, Shawn Michaels. Let me shoot with you. Shawn was behind all of this from the start, forcing one bad decision after another. So, HBK, I want you to come out here right now so we can talk man to man, face to face. Strong words from the lock. Yeah, you better be careful here. È arrabbiato, Pippo. Shawn Michaels apparently has chosen to come out and respond to these claims. This is a situation that might be better handled off camera, behind closed doors, not in front of the entire WWE universe. He doesn't look too happy to be put on the spot like this. I heard everything you said, and I'm willing to talk. But you know, this isn't the time or the place. This is exactly the time and place. I want everyone to hear how you've mishandled my career since the day I got here. Stop. Now. No, I've played by your rules, but I'm not going to trust the process any longer. From now on, I do what I want to do. That's what got me here in the first place. My voice, my instinct, my talent. You and your corporate yes men have tried to stifle that every chance you got. People. Okay. You really want to do this? We've heard your side of things. Here's mine, AKA the truth. All you've done is complain since day one, thinking you know everything. Like when you chose to drop your special lock entrance after one match, and then you dropped your custom attire right afterwards. You know how much time and money was invested in all of that, and you never gave any of it a fair shot but there's no change in your mind because you're too stubborn to listen to people who actually know the ins and the outs of this business the same people who tried to set you up for success who wanted nothing but the best for you hold on the best for me give me one example of something you did to help me come on Name one thing. Okay, let's get it all out there. When things weren't going as expected, I went to Randy Orton and MVP and convinced them to start factions to try to get you back on track. That's how much we believed in you, that we were willing to stick our necks out for you. But I guess that's all stuff. Stifling and setting you up for failure, right? You said they wanted me. Yeah, because I knew feeding your ego would be the only way to get you to agree to do it. But even that didn't work. Because you couldn't learn to cooperate and quit. Throwing away an opportunity that everyone in the back would kill for. So I have one final thing to say to you. Don't you ever confuse potential with success. Because you might have all the potential in the world, but it doesn't mean anything if you can't get out of your own way. La lezione dello zio Sean. Stop complaining and blaming everyone else and do something for once. You want me to do something? Is that what you want? Words being exchanged here. I'm talking to you. Show me some respect! Sean just took a very awkward fall there and hit the steel steps hard on his way down. I don't think that was intended, but things just took a very bad and unexpected turn. I think he was just trying to get Sean's attention, and it backfired. Officials, including Michael's good friend Triple H, have arrived to check on Sean. Probably best for him to just leave and let things cool down. Did Shawn Michaels just say he's fired? I think I heard that too. Wow, I can't believe that just happened. 
This has gotten way out of hand. We just hope Sean's okay. Come? Ragazzi, sono basito oggi. Ultima ora della WWE. La WWE non tollera comportamenti violenti, intenzionali o meno, nei confronti dei suoi dipendenti. Per questo motivo il contratto di Pippo è stato annullato con effetto immediato. Il dirigente WWE, zio Sean, è rimasto gravemente infortunato, ma dovrebbe rimettersi completamente. Oddio! Tre mesi dopo la sessione di motion capture di WWE 2K. Oh, ok. Questo l'ho già fatto anche con Bauda. Ok, quindi registriamo in motion capture per il prossimo gioco WWE. Immagino WWE 2K23 o 24. Chissà per quale è questo, Pippo. Comunque non ti preoccupare. Facciamo bella figura, così magari 2K il prossimo anno ci manda il gioco. Eh? Occhiolino, occhiolino 2K. Ti faccio una bella carriera. Tu mandaci il gioco. Ok, Pippo. Terza corda. Aspetta che il carro rientra qui. Bravissimo. Eccoti. Ok, sottomissione, Pippo. A posto, a posto, Pippo. Lascialo, lascialo. Uh. Calmati. Ok Pippo, simuliamo lo schienamento. Vai Pippo, veloce, veloce, veloce. E la Chukei non ha tempo da perdere. Insulta l'avversario. Perfetto. Ok. Ora la folla Pippo. Bravo, gira, 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 gira Pippo. Benissimo. Poi Irish Whip All'angolo Pippo All'angolo Vabbè fallo rientrare Dai Oh questo è l'angolo Bravo Ah Armi Vai Pippo Siamo esperti di armi Ecco Ecco Bombo pesante poi, ecco così, stai un po' tranquillo. Combo leggera. Benissimo. Ok. Mangiagli la faccia. Vai, 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 vai. Oh. Ok, mostra una schivata, fatto. Contrattacco. Eh, contrattacco potrebbe essere un po' più difficoltoso ecco aia ok mossa speciale Pippo no no non puoi finirlo adesso Pippo su chiudiamola perché questo è un po' aggressivo ok Pippo dai chiudiamola vinci il match il nel metodo che con il metodo che preferisci va bene così arbitra veloce wait what in the world is this is that my old buddy the lock doing mocap for wwe 2k <laughs> it wasn't that long ago when you thought you should be on the cover of the game and now you're here pretending to be a wwe superstar Talk about a fall from grace. This is amazing. What the hell are you doing here? Maybe you can't afford to watch premium live events anymore, but I just won this Money in the Bank briefcase. So I requested that my briefcase motions be captured accurately by me and not left to the interpretation of uncoordinated losers like yourself. The same uncoordinated loser who beat you repeatedly? Funny. Oh, and look, I even have WWE here to document the whole thing. Remember when you used to have a camera following you around? <laughs> the irony is off the charts. Hey, 
Hope you're doing okay. I always believed in you. That's enough. You're here to film me, not speak to the extras. Okay, you, you can leave now. I need to shoot my part so I can fly to the next show. You know, the life of a busy, successful WWE superstar. All non-essential talent, please clear the ring. Thank you. All right, let's settle into a T-pose. Mocap ready, position. Action on your briefcase victory scene. Great, excellent. Now up to the corner, please. <laughs> you think you're better than me? Huh? Answer me! Cut! Cut! That's enough! Where's security? Come on! Let's do this! Let's go! I should have sued you before, but now I am definitely going to. Let me go! This was assault, and it's all on camera! Get off of me! You haven't seen the last of me! Actually, I think we have. You're fired. Again. Bye. Sorry, Sammy. Let's take a break, and we'll continue when you're ready. No. No break. Let's just do this. Make sure you cut all that out, okay? <laughs> Però il nostro Pippo è proprio arrabbiato. Beh, ci credo, hanno licenziato, ma sono veramente curioso. Ma cosa accadrà adesso? Oddio! E finirà tutto in un episodio? Ci sarà un prossimo episodio? Non lo so. Should we wake him up? Yeah, I'll think he's got enough beauty rest. Oh, what the morning, sunshine! Oh, what's going on here? Since you never return any of my messages or calls, I had to come see you in person. You flew all the way over from the UK? I couldn't just sit back and watch you throw your life away. And since you're impossible to reach, I got in touch with this lovely lady. Am I allowed to say that? Mm, I'll allow it. Anyway, she's been following you around for the past six months and knew what was really going on with you more than anyone. And we agreed you weren't in a good place and needed help. This really isn't necessary. I'm fine. Seriously. I've just hit a bit of a rough patch. That's all. A rough patch is when you lose your keys, causing you to miss a blind date, and your cat gets sick. Of course, you find out the reason your cat's sick is because they swallowed your keys, but that's a personal experience, so we're getting off track. Point is, you've thrown away everything you worked so hard for. And then yesterday, you got fired from the mocap gig. Yeah, and I had my flight booked way before that. You've been a mess for a while. I didn't throw everything away. It was complicated. <sighs> but if it gets you two to stop, I'll admit, I've had better days. More like better months. So you got knocked down at Pega 5. All that matters now is how you respond. And when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, there's a whole world of wrestling out there for you to build yourself back up, be everything I know you can be, and show WWE what they're missing. You're right. I've let things spiral out of control. I'm ready to get back on track. Great. And I'll be right there with you every step of the way. Really? Got nothing better to do. Okay. I'm confused, though. Why are you here, Kat? I told you, I believed in you. And besides, I can't just start a project and leave it half finished, especially when it's going to have an awesome comeback story. And hey, even if you crash and burn, that'll be great too, for me and the doc, not necessarily for you. All right, we're at an airport. Where to first? The loo, this coffee ran straight through me. Justo. <laughs> Non ha detto una cacca. Quindi una serie di pessime decisioni conclusa con addirittura caschetto da motion capture per uomo, donna, tuta e studio di motion capture annesso. Oh, oh, oh. Oddio ragazzi ma che episodio, che episodio, che episodio.
Il nostro Pippo è stato licenziato dalla WWE, ma che cosa succede oggi? Ce la farà il nostro eroe Pippo a tornare nella WWE? E dove lo porterà l'aereo nel prossimo episodio? Beh, scopritelo intanto lasciando un bel like qui sotto perché altrimenti Pippo piglia l'aereo per venirvi a trovare. Ormai che ci siete iscrivetevi al canale perché, ripeto, sta per atterrare Pippo proprio a casa vostra. E ormai che ci siete cliccate sulla campanellina degli avvisi per rimanere sempre aggiornati e andare al gate giusto. Quindi ragazzi vi ringrazio di essere rimasti in mia compagnia fino alla fine, se volete scoprire come prosegue questa storyline mi raccomando collegatevi domani a mezzogiorno come sempre per scoprire che cosa succederà al nostro Psycho Pippo. E come sempre, Kameame, ciao!